Ryan Garcia was able to do dumb things. And on the other side, he was able to make a $20 million impact. What does that mean? Ryan Garcia uh -huh. is a professional fighter mm -hmm. who is young. I think he's like 25 or something he's like young. that. He's popping. Have you ever made 30 million a night? Part of the reason he's popping is because he's an excellent fighter. I'll back. Oh, oh. He seems to have no filter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck my dick. Yeah, he just says whatever the fuck he wants. Great marketing. Um, yep, great marketing. Yes. There have been allegations that he left his pregnant wife to be with an OnlyFans model. And uh, before his fight versus Haney, he went to his weigh-in, pretending or actually drunk and drinking mm -hmm. beer, mm -hmm. did not make weight, which put him out of contention for mm -hmm. the uh, world champion for his weight division. Mm -hmm. People thought this guy's going to get fucking washed in a fight, <laughs> and then he knocks them out. He wins the fight, and he comes in in like great condition. People are like, what the fuck happened? We thought this guy was crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then after he won, he pledged $20 million to support the Gaza relief effort, mm -hmm. and Andrew Tate also matched it. Now, why is this important? This is not really about Ryan Garcia mm -hmm. or Andrew Tate. Never is. It's about the complexity of people and how mm -hmm. people are portrayed versus what they actually do mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. who they actually are mm -hmm. and how much we value what people say versus what they do. So I think this is actually an opportunity for just an interesting discussion. If you even see in the comments, mm -hmm. you know, if someone who people traditionally consider to be a good person, like, I don't know, fucking Al Roker, <laughs> get in the past. If he, <laughs> I don't have twenty million dollars either, nigga. So we both losing, man. <laughs> oh, I said Al Roker. I was like, that's the best I could come up with. Yeah, no, Brad Pitt. Al Roker just watching this. He's like enjoying the show. He's like, what the fuck is this, man? Unsubscribe. <laughs> Jesus, like, I lost the subscriber. <laughs> He's gonna, in the comments like, fuck you, niggas. <laughs> I was gonna come on, but you know what? never mind. Is he a weatherman? <laughs> Who's like a, a darling, a very safe person. Yeah. yeah. A Barack Obama. Barack Obama right. Yeah. Barack Obama donates twenty million dollars to Gaza. You can project that the comments are like, Yes, King, so glad, <laughs> Commander in Chief number one. Yeah. But Ryan Garcia does it, and let's look at what the comments say. Oh shit. It's time for the peanut gallery. <laughs> okay, peanut gallery. So the top comment is actually quite reasonable. Mm -hmm. So on paper sounds good, but how is that going to its citizens who need it and not Hamas who controls everything there? Honest question. That's a reasonable Honest question. question. Yeah. We're going to like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But now let's look at the remainder of the comments here. Oh, boy. Gaza, are you serious? How are you going to claim Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior and then said aid to the people actively trying to destroy oh, God's people? Oh, my God. Funding terrorism. Dope. That a sane comment, but of course it gets like no likes. The people who hate on this haven't donated a single dollar. You're goddamn skippy right. 100%. Damned if you do, damned if you that, do. You know, and, and this actually raises an interesting discussion of like, what is a good man, really? Because Tate says inflammatory shit all the time. Breathe air. You don't need a vape. <laughs> it's bad for me. Duh. Yeah. And, sure. and if he's matching this, he has made much more of a difference than 99% of the people who complain about him. Yeah. And there's a question of does a good way out the outweigh the bad? Because words do matter. The mm -hmm. ideas that you spread do matter. And so do so does $20 million. And so does $20 million. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So and, and the problem is it feels like people are so they hold on to their judgment of a person so strongly that even if they Doesn't do matter. something positive, it gets recast in a negative way. I will find a way to hate it. Yeah. It's, uh, once I put you in a box, I will not let you out. Right? Yeah. So you have to be very careful about the box that you let people put yeah. you in. Yeah. And it, it's troubling. This reminds me of when Elon said, I see a lot of people talking about doing good, but most people doing evil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, or at least not actually doing good, saying yeah. good things. Same yeah. thing with Kanye, man. Yeah. Like Kanye is out here doing, I think he's genuinely trying to do good. In multiple industries. In multiple industries. Yeah. And he, he has he has these uh, projects to make affordable housing that yeah. is environmentally friendly, yeah. uh, can be made cheaply, mass produced. Like, no one's talking about that. They're talking about his latest fucking tweet. Yeah, yeah. And I feel like it, we've gotten to the point where most people are they're so not fucking doing anything yeah. that they're f overly focused on what people say. Yeah. 100%. Rather than pe what people are actually doing to impact the planet. And yeah. Ryan Garcia, I have no idea where this came from. Who the fuck knows? Mm -hmm. But I'm going to actually just assume the best. I'm going to assume that he's pledging $20 million of his own fucking money to a cause that he believes in. Like, why can't it be that simple? <laughs> <laughs> why does it have to be something in agenda is, every yeah, time? Simple. Yeah. This could be a potential conversation around like mastering the attention economy. 
mm. right? Because it was like, oh, that's I'm cool. gonna I'm gonna show up to this thing, and like you said, he was like drunk or whatever, and the hijinks and whatever, whatever. And it's like once you have detached your attachment to looking good, mm. you you kind of become unfucking stoppable, yep. and you can actually generate change at this rate. You know what I mean, like. He was able to amass twenty million dollars because he was able to amass attention to the fight, and then he was able to deliver based on his skill. Yeah. So it's like, I, and I, I think it's something I'm like very curious about how it could even implement in my life, even like with the show. It's like, Same. cool, yeah, like you can do the things that attract attention because that's what ninety nine percent of people who want to make a difference they're afraid. They're like, I don't want to no. be, I don't want to be the tall poppy. I don't want to be up here. Da, da, da. But it's like, mm. what if you, if you are willing to do that, maybe that's the first step to then taking that attention and taking that thing and then doing something with it. Mm. Because at this point, if you're pledging $20 million to Gaza, do you care about what people think mm. about you being drunk at the, your fucking thing about you not making weight? It's like, cool. Mm. If I'm cool with myself, I know who the fuck I am. It's like, now I can just go make the difference that I want to go make. In the 48 Laws of Power, it says court attention at all costs. Yeah. When you're on the come up, court attention at all costs. Yeah. We've seen this playbook run again and again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Conor McGregor, Andrew Tate, now Ryan Garcia, fighters who have realized hey, it's actually not good enough to just be a really good fighter and really yeah. good at my craft in the yeah. ways that people celebrate. Yeah. People have to find me interesting. You have to care. You have to care. And yeah. from that place, I can then be influential. Yes, exactly. And yeah. I think there are ways to court attention that are obviously not like degenerate. So like, <laughs> we don't have to like, I'm not, again, I'm not holding these guys as pinnacles of humanity, yeah, yeah, yeah. but also there's a real discussion to be had. Like, Hey, we complain about these people, but who are we paying attention to? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, you want to be influential. Mm -hmm. Great. How do people get influential? They get attention, and then because people give a fuck about what they have to say and what they do, then they're able to take that attention, turn it into dollars, turn it into awareness. It's like, yeah. cool. If you cool. really cared cool. about being influential, then you would just focus on amassing influence. And yeah. at the end of the day, 99.999999% of people who are complaining about Andrew Tate are not as effective at doing anything as Generating Andrew Tate. Any change and influence. if you look at this, it's like Ryan Garcia was able to do whatever you want to call dumb things because he was unattached to how he looks. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, he was able to make a $20 million impact, right? Yep. So that means, what does that mean? That means he likes himself still, mm -hmm. and he was able to make an impact. Mm -hmm. So the people in the comments are people who don't like themselves, presumably, based on the fact that they're commenting like this, mm -hmm. and presumably are not making impact whatsoever, at least not to the scale of mm -hmm. $20 million. I don't think anybody who makes a $20 million dollar donation is on Instagram commenting, man, I don't fuck, fuck this guy, fuck this guy, right? Ooh, so. Yeah. If you hate on people who are making a difference, not only does it mean you hate yourself and you're not making a difference, it means that they do like themselves and they are making a difference. Who is winning? Mm. Mm. Seems pretty clear to me. Mm. Basically, the, the summary of this is it's a sobering reality that you, if you want to be influential, people need to give a fuck about what you're saying. Mm -hmm. They don't care that you're a good person. 100%. Right? Nobody's famous for being an amazing good person. Like yeah. Mother Teresa. Yeah. Like... like well, but Mother Teresa was very good at the PR game. Yeah. Okay. She Garnering was playing attention. a part. She yeah. was playing a part. And yeah. her, her brand was, I am a good person. I don't yeah. know what she actually was, but yeah. her brand was, I'm a good person. Yeah, so yeah. she was playing a part. Now, a, an example that I do think we could all look up to, mm -hmm. and I know we mutually share a lot of respect for this man, is Kanye. Jordan Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> well, I... I that's different. But I think, I th honestly, like a, sa a safer example is Jordan Peterson, where mm -hmm. I believe that the man is genuinely good. Mm -hmm. And when I mean good, I mean like gen gen genuinely he's trying to do something for the species and it's not actually even about him anymore. Mm -hmm. And he courts attention not by looking for attention or, or antics or gimmicks, yeah, fair. but by saying what he actually fucking thinks. Yeah. Why should your right to freedom of speech trump a trans person's right not to be offended? Because in order to be able to think, you have to risk being offensive. I mean, look at the conversation we're having right now. You know, like you're certainly willing to risk offending me in the pursuit of truth. Why should you have the right to do that? It's been rather uncomfortable. Saying what he thinks, not what he thinks people will like. Yeah. And that I think is actually the paragon of what it looks like mm -hmm. to be a good person who is also influential, not because you're so good, but mm -hmm. because you're willing to be thought of as bad because Ooh. you believe in yourself so much. Come on, bro. We on fire today, baby. Okay. So at the end of the day, in theory, if we're hoping for the best for everybody, the idea is that you make change, have an impact, mm -hmm. right? You don't get validation and then make an impact. Mm. You might get attention and then make an impact. That's what happened here, right? Like, 
so many people you were like why jordan peterson is famous is not the antics he doesn't go like pissing drunk on anything he's like i'm just gonna say the truth and yep. you know for, all the time fortunately or unfortunately in today's society that attracts attention because it's so fucking rare right mm -hmm. so he attracts attention by telling the fucking truth a lot of people don't tell the truth they say what people want to hear and they get validation mm -hmm. but you can't do anything with validation because then i just i just said the same thing that you said now now i now i belong in the fucking little small little community so, so why should i listen to you when there's a thousand others yeah so what impact can you make so i th i think that there's something here and please pull it out of me it's like pause i i held it back but i was like speaking of saying the truth yeah pause <laughs> <laughs> okay hold on i feel like a lot of people are just saying what other people want them to say doing what other people want them to do not because you want to make an impact mm -hmm. right but there is this kind of like self-righteous veneer of like i am doing this because i'm mm -hmm. sticking up for a cause or whatever it's like yo stick up for the cause of truth stick up for the thing that actually is in inconvenient to say say the thing that people don't want to hear even if it might ruffle some feathers because your actual desired impact is not your validation. Your actual desired impact is making change. I put myself through hell. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna knock him out and everybody's gonna be cheering, what? And you can only do that and you can only amass actual attention to yourself that generates change if you are willing to do things that other people are not willing to do. Yeah. You can't do what everybody else is willing to do and then make change. Mm -hmm. how, how would you make change? It doesn't, yeah. doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Just be honest. Yeah, just be honest. Say your best understanding of the truth. Yeah. Say things that you you believe to be true. Regardless of if somebody agrees with it. Yeah. Yeah. And that is in itself attractive. Mm -hmm. And with Ryan Garcia, it's like, it's so clear that he's he's being honest. Yeah. Right? He's like, he has no, he's like, I watch this guy, he's, he's unconflicted. So, of course, people are paying attention to him. Yeah. I think that's fucking interesting, man. You know, you're able to take something like Ryan Garcia just pledging $20 million to Gaza after the fight and then turn it into a bigger conversation. And if we were to... If I were to ask you that bigger conversation, if you could sum it up in a sentence, a summary for the people to take home, what would you say? Don't be so attached to your perception of someone that you can't see and recognize that they did a good thing. Mm, come on. If you want to be influential, you need to know how to court attention. Yeah. And the best way to court attention in a way that's lasting and actually gains you respect and not just the flash in the pan is to actually say what you fucking believe, Facts. not what you think other people want you to say. Yeah. And given all that, what is one belief, one thing that people should know? Something that might be a little uncomfortable for you to say, but something that's honest and from the depths of your heart, what's one thing that you can look in that camera and say from the core of your being? I believe that you should like and subscribe to For The Culture. Ooh, hot take, hot take, hot take. But it is the truth. We'll see you next time, y'all. I'm blessed, highly favored. I'm blessed, highly favored.